Hello everyone, welcome to Learn and Laugh with Freddy. In today's video, we are going to talk about the effect of cash transactions on the accounting equation. So if you remember last time we had a, a video about the accounting equation. So if you did not watch it, please just go and watch it so that you understand what we are talking about now. We are going to talk about the effect of cash transactions on the accounting equation. So we use the ICE method to indicate the effect of transaction on the accounting equation. So now what does ICE stands for? I stands for identify the two accounts involved in the transaction, classify the accounts into their main types of accounts or elements of accounts, and show the effects whether there is an increase or there is a decrease now remember if you're still uh, uh, confusing between accounts and what what just go back to our video i'll, I'll put it on the sc uh, screen somewhere here and then you click on it and then you watch it on the accounting equation now what is an account in simple terms just to make us understand an account is actually anything that can be sold bought or money received because of it or cash and bank so for example we can buy a car which is a vehicle therefore a vehicle is an account we can sell goods so the sales therefore sales is an account we can pay for water and, and electricity water and electricity is also an account list goes on so now let's look let's look at uh, some transactions and then indicate the effect of these transactions on the accounting equation. Now, the first transaction is the owner deposited 300,000 into the business bank account, or which means the owner deposited a certain amount of money in the business bank account as capital. Also, go watch our previous video so that you see what is capital. Is their interest in the business now we said we use the ICE method to indicate the effect of transactions on the accounting equation therefore first of all let's identify the two accounts here we have bank and capital bank like how the money was deposited or through which the money was deposited and capital why did the owner send this money to the business is for the cap of office for his capital contribution now let's classify these two accounts, bank and capital, into their main types of accounts. So bank is under asset, something that belongs to the business, while capital is owner's equity. It's about the owner's interest in the business. Bank is asset, capital is owner's equity. And then now let's show the effect, which means if the money is deposited in the bank account, then there will be a plus. So the money in the bank account will go up and also the owner's interest in that business the owner's capital in the business will go up now how is that shown on the accounting equation now on the accounting equation so we'll have a table like this we have number transaction number asset owner's equity and liabilities so now the effect our asset the effect our asset will increase and the reason is bank increase so we have an increase under asset because bank has been increased also we have an increase under our owner's equity because capital of or because of capital contribution now if you look here we do not really say increase or decrease under owner's equity in reasons like here we are saying bank increase so here under owner's equity we will just say capital okay with that transaction let's also go to next transaction is an, an, to get more examples so now this transaction sold goods for cash 2000 sold goods for cash 2000 so our business in this case sold goods worth 2000 now what are the two accounts involved in this transaction remember the ICE method first we identify the two accounts involved so we there is cash because we received cash how money was received and then sales if we sell goods 
In accounting, we refer that account as sales. So the two accounts involved here, we have cash and sales. Now let's classify the accounts. Cash is under asset, while sales is an income. Now income have an effect, uh, effect on has has an effect on 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 us equity, which means if the more money the the business is making, the more interest of the owner in the business will go up. So therefore, income have an impact on the owner's equity. That's why sales is an income, but we'll classify it under owner's equity. Now, we, to show the effect, if we receive more money, our asset will go up with 2,000. Same as our owner's equity will go up with 2,000. And now, how is this transaction going to be on the accounting equation? So this is how it will be shown. We'll have a transaction number. Asset has gone up, the effect, with 2,000. And the reason is cash increased. While owner equity also has gone up with 2,000. And the reason is sales, which is an income. Like, our owner equity has gone up with 2,000 because of sales and sales is an income remember we do not say increase or decrease under owner equity like how we did here at cash all right so far i hope it's so good so you you may comment down there to ask questions or something to be clarified with that being said let's still see some more examples now transaction three Paid cash for stationaries. Paid cash for stationary. Now, which means our business here, however, has paid money. All right. Same thing. We follow the IC method first. We identify the two accounts involved. Cash, because money came from cash. And then stationary. Why did we take out money from the business? It's because we bought some stationaries. Okay. And then let's classify the accounts. Cash is under asset. Stationaries is expenses. Expenses is the things that we need to pay for or to buy so that the business will be able to operate. Like stationaries, you need pen and papers, water and electricity and so forth. So, and also, the more we are paying out our money from the business so that the business can operate, however, our owner's equity will go down. Our owner's interest in the business will go down. That's why our effect will be a minus for asset and a minus under our owner's equity. All right? Our asset will go down, our owner's equity will go down. This transaction on the accounting equation will be shown this way. The asset will go down with 300 because cash is decreased. We pay out money from the business. And also, um, Owner equity will go down with 300 because we bought some stationaries which are expenses. For our last example, the owner took 5,000 cash for his personal use. The owner took 5,000 cash for his personal use. So let's identify the two accounts. The two accounts involved here we have cash and personal account. Now, personal account. Uh, I mean personal use, which is drawings. When the owner took goods or money from the business for his own personal use, then that account's name is drawings. So we have cash and drawings. Let's classify the two accounts. Cash is under asset. Cash is something that belongs to the business, so it's under asset. While drawings is owner's equity. Drawings is owner's equity it has to do with the owner's interest in the business now if the owner takes goods or money from the business for his own use obviously whatever he takes like in this case cash will, will decrease will go down and also the owner's interest in the business the owner's equity will go down so how will that one be shown on the accounting equation minus for assets the reason is cash is decreased because there's a minus in owner equity. The reason is drawings. All right. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching. 
I hope you have learned something. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so that next time the same or similar content you'll be the first one to watch. Don't forget also to comment, ask questions on, on the comment section below. With that being said, 